All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to simplify polynomials. Up here we have negative 6, a to the 4th, b, c to the 8th, all divided by 36, a to the 7th, b squared over c. So what we need to do is we need to simplify this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify each and every term. I have my numbers, my a, b's, and c's. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of break them down and simplify each one because once we can simplify them, I can, I can make this into a not monomial. It's not a monomial yet because everything has not been simplified. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to break out I have a negative 6 over 36. I have an a to the 4th over a to the 7th. I have a b over b squared. And I have a c over c to the first power. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can reduce these using my um, powers of x ones. Well this, I can just reduce down to a regular fraction. This can be, I can divide the top and bottom by 6, so that becomes 1 6 and it's still negative. What, remember when I divide my fractions, if you guys remember this law of exponents, it's a to the m minus n. So I'm going to do 4 minus a to the 7th, and that's going to give me um, a to the negative 3. This is going to give me, that's b to the first power, b to the negative first, b to the 1 minus 2, and this will give me c to the seventh power. Now, the next law that I need to remember, and you can always say that these are always over one if you want to maintain your fractions. Now, the next law I need to remember is a to the negative m is equivalent to one over a to the m. So, when I have a negative exponent, that's actually under one. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to invert both of these two, and if they're going to be on the bottom. Ah! Bless you. <laughs> okay, so now, since I have each individual little fractions, now I can just combine them back into one whole polynomial. Do I need to really write all these ones? Because they're just all multiplied together, right? This is all multiplied together. These are still just multiplied together, but I'm separating them out. So really, the only thing on top is c to the 7. And now on bottom, and we'll just write a negative. And on the bottom, I have 6 times a to the third times b. And times 1, but we don't need to write that. So 6, a to the third times b. Now, I have everything simplified, so now this is what we call a monomial. It has multiple terms inside the monomial, but there's no addition or subtraction separating terms, so it is a complete monomial, everything simplified. So that is how you simplify polynomials using operations of polynomials.